What can I say about the Steam controller? Well, it's interesting to say the least. I mostly play first-person shooter games and rarely do I play RTS games. I currently use an Xbox One controller to play any game that is better with a controller, such as Speedrunners and Rocket League. So let's talk about the pros of the Steam controller first. I love the idea of having a mouse trackpad for your thumb and being able to navigate or play games in a more comfortable position. You can lean back in your chair or play on your couch, which is what this was really made for. Another pro is the customization that comes along with it. You can literally fully customize this controller into whatever fits you best. From the full button mapping to the insane amount of customization of the trackpad, you can set everything from the sensitivity to how much of the trackpad actually registers your thumb. The trackpad can be set to several modes such as normal mouse, a joystick, or even just a button. Another cool thing about the Steam controller are the configurations. You can create your own setup and import and export the file. You can even upload to or download from the community to give you many options for different games. Now let's jump into the cons. Unfortunately for me, I don't see myself ever using this in the future. I gave it a good go on CSGO and after, well, over an hour of trying to set the controller up, I got the buttons to where they were acceptable and made sense. That's pretty much where it ended. I couldn't use it at all for aiming. Even with the smoothness cranked up, it felt very choppy and not smooth. Keep in mind that Valve has a disclaimer that they don't recommend the Steam Controller for CSGO. I find the location of the A, B, X, Y buttons to be less ergonomical and more uncomfortable than the Xbox One controller. Now this could be just because I'm used to the Xbox controller, but the Steam controller just feels off. I found myself holding the controller awkwardly while playing Rocket League in order to just hit the proper buttons. When holding it comfortably, it always I always seem to hit the wrong buttons. In the end, the Steam controller seems to be a love-hate computer accessory. Reading about it online, people either absolutely love it for browsing the net on their home theater PC from the couch, using it to play RTS games or maybe even card games from the couch. Or they hate it because it just isn't as good as the Xbox One controller for controller-based games and it doesn't even compare to the good old mouse and keyboard for FPS or RTS games. Unfortunately, I fall in the hate side of this debate. Well, I don't really hate it, it's a great controller for those that can use it. But for me, it's hard to beat the Xbox One controller and the tried and true mouse and keyboard. Thank you for watching my review, and I will see you in the next video.